What is up, my friends? Welcome to Internet Law Review. As always, we are here with yet another wonderful Phoenix Wright playthrough. This is a game ostensibly about a legal system somewhere in Japan. And we're picking up from where we left off last time, so we will learn nothing of value, but we're going to have some fun doing it. So let's get started. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case deci gets decided today. One can only hope. Ah, Phoenix, look. This prosecutor needs, like, a little bit more chill. Just a little bit. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I thought it was you. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Well, you would hope, but... No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it in good faith the judge will listen to me. So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Maybe you should focus more on, like, you know, getting justice. That would be a good idea. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? I don't know. Apparently that's what they do in Japan. Innocent. How can we know that? Well, at least in America it's presumed, but... The guilt will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. Yes, there is. That's like why we invented criminal process in the first place. You're an idiot. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Lord. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Phoenix, you know him? No one expecting special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. I guess we went to law school or high school friends or something? But wait, the defense attorney isn't even here yet. That's because I'm going pro se, which is always a good move. I'll be defending myself. Actually, in this situation, it might not be the worst idea because the system's so corrupt, you can only hope for the best. What? Okay, let's do this. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. Prosecution's ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. You may opening statement, please. Yeah, usually if you're going to defend yourself, the judge is going to spend just a little bit more time making sure you understand what you're doing, even if you're a lawyer, because it's kind of a bad idea. But, okay. As the details of this event are quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. Yeah, and apparently I don't get an opening statement either. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? Raise an objection. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe me an explanation. You owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Ms. Maya Faye? It's a reasonable question. Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. 
Mr. White is a busy man. Besides, time, I thought that this maze of was all that would be needed. Okay. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. See, like, if this were in the U.S. system, the prosecutor would give me a list of all his witnesses, whether he was going to call them or not, it's because I have a right to interview them and so forth. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. I'd like to call Mr. Reed White to the stand. Oh, my lord. Don't dress like this in court. Don't dress like this guy in court, either. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Er, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse me? Oh my god. Name! Two are great together. My name is Reed White, and my friends call me Blanco Nino. Okay. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Those are not the same thing. Those are different roles. They often are held by the same person, but they are not the same thing. Did you know the victim, Miss Mayafe? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gagwater Hotel the night of the murder. Leading. Ask where were you on the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. What did you witness while you were there? Ahem, well I'll, well, I'll tell you what you already know, because you're a witness, because that's your job at this point. Very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't discuss testimony part, I'm done for. Okay. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? In this universe, you kind of are. Ho, ho, ho! I hope you've made your peace with your life, Mr. Blair. Ouch! Let him have it, Phoenix. Alright. Let's see. Alright, let's see what I have in the court record, because it's been a while since I've played this. Because I need evidence to confront. So I got an attorney's badge, which will probably no help. No help. A topsy died from a blunt object. Okay. Holds a conversation between the chief and Mia. Uh, I don't think it's going to be useful. Broker remains in the light stand. Okay. The, the clock will probably come in use at some point, I imagine, because it's coming in use every other time. The wiretap. The receipt stained with blood. Okay. May's testimony. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right when she was caught and struck. Murder scene, floor plans, that could be useful. And that's it. Alright, let's go back. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quite... Pers pers persifying. I think it's supposed to be pursuing, but some other contribution. That is reading some papers by the window. Then I heard a bed lamp coming from outside. That is actually a good term. Good for you. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking the woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. How did you know that? I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she. She ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Things occurred as you testify that I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. What? Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right, take one more look at these, uh... After I can find, let's see, present... Uh, 
autopsy report. Clock. Victim dodged. Then I heard a bed lamp coming from outside. I'll press. A bed lamp? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. But how'd you hear it? We see, continue. This is across the way, right? And he's inside an office, so there's, wind there's windows and glass. And he's in a hotel which has its own glass. So, like, how would you have heard that? It would be a reasonable question. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, despite the man attacking a woman with long hair. I'll press him on that. Spiky hair. Who is to say that man was better than you, Mr. Lord? I should press. What you just said directly conflicts with this base testimony. It was made clear this day that they saw it looked like a girl. I've always been proud of eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. So what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes, 40. Okay. 40, don't add them together. What are you just trying to say his eyesight is good? Okay, who size the judge on? Good question. What did you do then? Columbus may overwatch, and she was surprised, of course. I can inquire, like, why she was there. What was Miss May doing at that time? Reasonable question, was she? She had just finished watching a surf on the TV and was leaving over there. Did you know she had been taping the Faye off his phone? Objection! Irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the case at hand. Technically, I suppose. I care not. I will answer Laura's bold inquiry. This man was actually low when she tapped the phone in this family. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Lord. Please continue. Victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Press. Can you be a little bit more detailed about that? worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprehendy, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Ooh, that's a contradiction. I don't think I can present that yet. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect some detail. Yeah, sure, just change your testimony at any, any time. That's how this works. The victim will have to left and give chase. Well, I can't present contradictory evidence, because this one says to the right. Objection! Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. I wouldn't go that far. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. Clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho. It's simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Oh, we don't have to look at the floor plans. We could literally just look at the transcripts. That's why they have a transcript so we can read back testimony and stuff. But carrying on. The killer was here. The victim here. The victim landed left as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. Yeah, I don't know. That's not that dispositive. She would have been running into a dead end. Yeah, but... Don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. Hmm. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. Oh, so he was in the room! Because he's looking at it from the other way around. Uh huh, uh huh. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Yes, I can. They're both right. 
I think this is a ton of truth. Huh, I doubt it. They're your witnesses, you shouldn't doubt it. Or rather, that doesn't clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Right. He's in the room. He's viewing it their way. What do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he's not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices. More specifically, he was standing here. He would have been standing where the killer is. Take that! This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door. If you had watched him from this point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Right. Please. This is no time for jokes and ill taste. This is where the killer was standing. Yes. Thank you for reaching the obvious conclusion. Order. I'll have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Great. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! Objection! Postulation to the defense or distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Who are you? Ho, ho, ho. You provide us so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. Oh, this would be good. It appears I've been unclear, and for this I apologize. Your, Mr. Your Honor. Might I be allowed to testify once more? Sure, why not? Let's go for version 3. Today's testimony is correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first lay on the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strikes, she ran to the right. No, because we have the autopsy con conflicts that. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. See, we hit her twice. Now we have an autopsy that says we hit the, the person hit once. So, no. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. The judge is asleep. Will you be cross examining the witness's testimony? Yeah, on the third time they revise their testimony, I think I will. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Right. Uh, I think I can present the autopsy. Objection! Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Er, er. Mr. White. Wasn't you who told this court you were absolutely positively perfect? Yes, it was. Mm. I'll refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if I could ask the witness for a new testimony. Objection! The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. That means I win. So that's how this works. I'd like to request a 10 minute break. No. You don't get the coach or witness in the middle of the, the middle of the hearing. Yes, yes, quite. Objection! Getting right, Judge. I'm just confused because he's lying. Also, that's just completely improper. I have five your request there be no break. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. Witness would care to revise his testimony. Crowd's on my side. 
Mr. White. Okay, this will be good. So now we're on to number four. This is this is the fourth try now, and somehow I'm still on trial. Um. Well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What other window? Then the next moment, I saw Miss May run to the left. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran from the door. Then you did hit her with a single blow. Flop. Hmm. Hmm. Flop indeed. Uh, very well, you may begin the cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it's hurting. Deal with it. Exactly. This is almost over. Alright, let's see what we got. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. I'm gonna press. I don't know what he means by other window. I heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over the scene. But how would he know that? Phoenix. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yes. Yes, very odd. How would he know that? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. Okay, well now we're on number five. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment I saw this may run to the left. Um I'll present the glass Mr. White. It is impossible you've seen the light stand. What? Stand broke in pieces when it fell. Oof. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me exactly, when was it that you saw this stand? Answer the question. Is it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked, then? Correct. That would be no problem, all right? Big problem. There's a big problem. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct. That is so. It is conclusive, definite, undeniable, unimpeachable. We are literally going to impeach you in about five seconds. No, it is impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. Why couldn't he? Do you have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. The person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Um, I'm gonna go with the floor plans. Look at this. These are floor plans that seen the murder. Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. Dun, dun, dun. If you're looking through the window at the office, this is the area you would have been able to see. Right. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Er, er, ridiculous city. Mr. White, if you were in the gate water hotels you claim, you could not have seen the stand. Right. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. Also correct. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? I, I don't know that I'd necessarily answer past this particular question, but okay. It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the offices. Argumentative, but effective. In other words, you are at the scene of the crime when the murder took place.
Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I, I, Miss Mia. Objection! It's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? I forgot about Edgeworth. You, you have no basis to object, and you really shouldn't be anyway. So what? I think the time has come. Should we confess your crime now? Hmm? What? You said you should confess your crime. Ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. What? The wiretap? <laughs> So, okay, what just happened there is called subordination of perjury. The prosecutor knows that he didn't place the wiretap, and he's asking him to confirm the fact. So he just solicited a lie from the witness on the stand. That's subordination of perjury, that's a felony, and it's a pretty quick disbarment. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Ms. April May, to tap the law office in this bed. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, what was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, it's not. No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you're in Ms. Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct. You're most correct, Miles. So we know the prosecutor on a first name basis. That's great. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Bay of Law Offices. That's when I saw the cursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Just please explain the court what this means, Mr. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Finks Wright has made his position quite clear. He determined that Mr. White knew his last name was in the office. He has shown there was only one time Mr. White could have seen his name, and the grandma of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Right. However, there's a fact that Mr. White has been to the office well before the murder took place. And he went to place the wiretap. Unless you have a basis for asking that question, you can't ask that question. You could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is, as opposed to your baseless conjecture. <laughs> Mr. White, you will testify the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I forget, are we on version 6 or version 7 of testimony now? I've honestly lost count. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Okay. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. This is how you're able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Uh -huh. Found Miss May's hotel room. In September, the week before the murder, I had failed offices. Of course, I dug the place of the I will press. Why'd you tap my nice phone? That's a reasonable question. There's no bearing on the current case. There's a little bit bearing on the current case. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. When I saw this glass light stand. 
Why'd you notice something that's innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a fictitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. There's nothing there for me to press it on. Oh well. Maybe it's round enough I can bluff something out of it. Not a bad idea. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Yes, but you literally don't know if it was five seconds before the murder or a week before the murder. You have no basis to draw that conclusion. I earned the pay offices. Press. Was it really you that went to that office? Or was it Miss May? Objection! I don't know if I figured for several days old found the Faye offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. You could, like, confirm that with fingerprint analysis. And if I know Edward, he's already run check on his prints. Now Mr. White. Tell us why he went to the offices. That's sort of place the wire attack. my mic up. Yes, I will turn up my mic a little bit. And I'll also turn down the desktop audio. See if that's a little better. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Yeah, well, I turn down the, I'll turn down the gain four decibels and let me know if that's enough. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes? Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia! Never give up, Phoenix! Mia! Where? Where am I? Waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah! Oh, you're finally away. Gak! Hey, Phoenix. Gak? That's no way to greet it, old Fred. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Which part are you, babe? You're... Oh, yeah. Didn't you know Faye wouldn't have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Okay. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. But, we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, Wright wrote that, not me. Fairbanks. So, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. Thousand dollars, wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Oh, wasn't there when he went to drop off the thing. Oh. Date of purchase. September the 4th. Dun dun dun. September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I bought the stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say's testimony? He said it was the first week, I think. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said it was the beginning of September the week before the murder. Oh, no way. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. I just have to prove it. Why? Right. Receipt updated. <laughs> 
court will now reconvene. Is the defendant rather... Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, you're sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. Cross examination, Mr. White, is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Well, seeing as the uh, witness got six or seven chances, I should get at least that many if we're playing by anything resembling fair rules. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial's more or less finished. <sighs> Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion as to this matter? Why are you asking? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. How magnanimous of you. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Being in September, the week before the murder, I entered the Faye offices. Of course, I had done so to place the water tower. That is when I saw this glass light stand. No, you didn't. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written on blood? Blah, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. Yeah. The other side? Yes. Two pieces of paper usually have two sides. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Did I ask the Honor to tell the court? Never mind. Hmm. Well, the glass light stand. That day of the purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, you allegedly entered the offices in the beginning of September. Dan could not have been there. Wow. Well, Mr. Wright, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. It's impossible achievable. Uh-oh, he's losing it. We're, we were well long since there. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. I think you'll agree you can't judge the guilty under these circumstances. Very well. And that is all for the trial of... Objection! Really? Eh? There is a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. Yes. However, there is no concrete proof that Felix Wright is innocent. I don't have to prove him innocent. Ergo, I'd like to request one more day before Felix Wright is granted his freedom. No, this trial is such a complete disaster area. The due process concern has long since counseled the dismissal of the trial. Uh, Judge Internet Law Review would not uh, grant this additional influence so you can dismiss. With prejudice, go away. I need time to make one more inquiry in this matter. No. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence for please. Yes, was also very, very illegal. This is bad. I'm gonna object. Of course I'm gonna object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. I have, I have all kinds of constitutional issues. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, if anyone's going to call Mr. White's trial, it would be me, the prosecution. That is true. Yeah. Well, the court could order the arrest just for the hell of it. That'd be fun. Any data to ascertain where these new claims have any basis of factual evidence. Whether or not you arrest White, it's nothing to do with whether or not I have to be let go. That's not how criminal justice works. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? I'm saying what, too. The completion of trial will be postponed until tomorrow. Edgeworth is sure to come with or just make up something. And after me, I should have helped me at all. It's 
guy. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Oh, what is this? Number received. Your Honor, if I may. Quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Bet I am. My life is riding on this one. Yes, and you are corrupt beyond all possible belief. I have something I'd like to read to the court. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but okay. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in the finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop. Desist. Halt. Please, stop. Make him stop. How, how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. How's Mia doing anything? She's not a lawyer. Anyways, or else this list will be released to the press. Okay, that's what we call blackmail. Um, that's, that's illegal. I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss May with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. N not really. I mean, notwithstanding his confession in open court, he still is entitled to a trial. And a defense lawyer could come up with some reasonable um, lines of inquiry here. I see no reason to continue this trial. Is so, right? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. I don't, I don't believe bar association membership carries into the afterlife. I don't, I don't think so. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. That is all. This court is adjourned. Would the blackmail make the conf confession coerced? It would certainly be an issue. <coughs> it would go to the voluntariness of the statement. Which is why I'm saying a defendant, defense lawyer would have some reasonable lines of inquiry. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fag. I'm lucky I had both you and Mia on my side. Glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. My time here is running out. Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief! Hee hee, I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say 9 o'clock? Am I being hit on by a ghost? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came, Mia. I was kind of worried you might not, huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Wow. You should see her face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Oh, uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Oh, yeah. Bow chicken. Wow, wow. Take care of, huh? She means the office. Yeah, that's what she meant. 
Someone has to help with the new right and co Lao offices, right? And who better but me? Leia Fee reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second thoughts, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Yeah, here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. You know what this means? We're partners. Well, yeah. you know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now, but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in company law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Who's company? Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Good. Right, okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Oh. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, wait up. The end. <laughs> a brand new episode has been added. Yay. Yes, I'd like to save. Uh, I'll save in this slot. You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. Okay, so I guess now we're on to episode number three. The moon. No, it's you who should gaze upon the moon. For me, it will be for you will be the last moon you'll ever see. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Warrior's sword gleam and strike of the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. The dark messenger returns. Yeah. By the way, if you guys have random legal questions, I will be accepting legal, random legal questions in the chat so we can try to learn something productive. That rocked. See you in hell, Ethan Magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick. I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What, Nick? You mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Cool graphic. He's only the most popular TV host hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? I, I don't think she's 10. Then what the heck are you doing all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. Oh, you guys are right. She's she's a little bit underage. Uh, so I guess I have to wait a couple more months. So, uh, good call, guys, on the uh, jail date issue. That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Yeah, Lind, can you be a co if you have no co? Actually, as a matter of fact, no, you can't. There's, uh, there's ethics issues on this as it relates to lawyers. Um, so when you're choosing like a firm name or a company uh, firm name, you have to like, you can't say um, like for me, I couldn't say Mueller and Associates because I don't have associates. I can't even say Mueller and Associate because I don't have an associate. So like if you have like a designator that implies that or suggests there's more people, you, you can't use that unless there are more people. So in this context, uh, you wouldn't be able to say um, and company because there's no company. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm more 24 myself. 17 and 24. You know, and the age of consent in many U.S. states is 17 or 16. So, hey, this could be legal depending... I know we're in Japan. And I don't know what the age of consent is in Japan anyway. Does anyone know the age of consent in Japan off the top of your head? I bet you it's younger than 17. Then watch it with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one. 
really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Isn't there an issue with using office and firm too? Yeah, same issue. If you don't have an office, if you don't have a firm, it's going to be the same issue of, of being misrepresentation. So I could call it, I could call like my business the Mueller Law Office. That'd be fine. But I couldn't say like Mueller and Associates because there are no associates. Wish we had some clients. That would be helpful. I noticed that this girl also is wearing beads on her. So, you know. Mia's murder was the talk of time, town for some time, but no one paid any attention to Ryan Company Law Offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some this big client is around the corner. Hmph. Oh, Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Ha! Oh. Bring. They're pr yeah, they're perbeats. That's what you want to tell yourself. Sure, uh-huh. Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! It's all, it's early. I, it's the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai got arrested. You mean the guy on the show? Yes. They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a villain. Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life. He skewered the villain with his samurai sphere. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Beep. 9.22 AM, writing company, law offices. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in Hubble Kid Show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. New Old Tokyo. Okay. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai Sphere was also found stuck through the body. I, I seriously hope the police have more than the Sphere. You know, for every possible reason. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Well, if it's stuck through him, it's probably a pretty good bet it might be the murder weapon, but you still want to check, and even if it is, that doesn't, like, indicate you're the murderers, right? We're, we're not that dumb. This has to be a joke. No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Yes? Ryan and Company Law Offices. What? Nick. It's the Steel Samurai. Okay, well, we're getting our call from jail, I guess. Good. What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? I'm assuming to the prison where he's being held. They have Steel Samurai down to tension. Yes. So what? So, I decide this will be our first case. Okay. Um, let's move to the detention center, I guess. <laughs> What's wrong, Mia? It's him. In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Yeah. You know, he has to ask to be our client. We need a retention agreement, and... Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. They definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. You, you realize you work for the defense attorney, right? Whoa. What are you saying? Um... Yes? Something wrong? No. No. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I'd never show my face in public until the job was over. You're a good looking guy. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. But 
how would they know that it was you? Because you wouldn't be wearing the mask, so what's the difference? Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they'll think of this deal said right now. Well, it depends. Did you stab this other guy with the sphere? Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. I want to fire her. He didn't do it. Okay, we'll talk. What happened? Maybe you can start by telling us what happened. Good place to start. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. It was rehearsal for 5 in the afternoon. When 5 came around and staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Okay. We took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack M, dead. He had been expertly secured with a samurai spear. Samurai spear. Yes, it's a long spear that I, the steel samurai, uses as a weapon. Alright. Okay. Maybe you could explain to me which is what the steel samurai is. How could you say such a thing? Even if I, like, knew in-universe, I'd still ask the question. Because I'm, like, trying to solicit things from him. So, like, I, I would ask this question regardless. I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. You're not my partner. You're 17. And you're not an attorney. You can't... You literally, at least in the U.S., it's unethical for an attorney to be in a business relationship with someone who's not a, another attorney, if it's a legal practice. So lawyers can only partner with other lawyers. It's a rule of ethics. He's new to this. I'm a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the street in Neo Old Tokyo. Playing battle after battle against evil magistrate as many as I know Thomas. Murder day one, arrest day two, trial day three. I mean, come on. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Alright, do you have an alibi? That's always a good place to start. Were we on the day of the murder? Well, we, we know that. We, he already told us. We came to studios at 9. We worked through some action sequences until noon. When you say we, who's we? Do you mean the, the guy who's dead? Who's we? Rehearsal was to begin at 5. I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio. Not everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. That would not happen in the United States. So we're sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. So I'm action here. What are you talking about? That's lame. That's stupid. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. It's a good place to start. Global Studios, I'll draw you a map. Well, Nick, let's go. Let's go. Wow, so this is where they make Steel Samurai show. Awesome. Aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You won and you gotta go through me. Yeah, in the real world, I would have gotten clearance before I showed up at the gate. I would have called uh, his agent or called... Uh, Someone to get me access to the scene. Or call the police for that matter to get me access to the scene. Sorry. We were, um, lawyers. No, you're, you're not. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. Yeah. And it's my job to make sure the gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Not an unreasonable thing to do. That's why you gotta get these things cleared. News today, something horrible happens, all you can see about sightseeing. Don't you have jobs you should be doing? She's gonna talk a, for a little bit now. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Could be. I don't know, it's possible. Hey. 
That's when you're being spoken to. Used to die. What are these things in her hair? Can I examine those? What do you do here at the studios? We know the answer to this question. At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here or there, I'm afraid, dearie. This place has really gone downhill, you know. Ten years ago, now it was a studio of dreams. Yeah, it happens to the best of places. Cameron was a big star back then, too, he was. The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. I mean, I don't know about that. A lot of villains are very richly drawn. And a lot of villains are very fun to play. I do a little bit of acting on the side. And villains can be quite a lot of fun to play. Will Powers. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You'll want him on the solar screen without it. Little ways watching would lose their lunch. Probably why I thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did for Jackhammer. We don't know for certain Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty. Why does everyone assume everyone is guilty? All the time. I mean... How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. You know literally nothing. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on the main hearts as the ultimate action hero. He's simply dashing in Dynamite Samurai series. But there was an accident where we were filming five years ago. Yeah, got a lucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on children's television program. Again, playing the villain is a lot of fun. What's more, I heard they were playing with peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. At least he's working. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is the left of here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Excuse me. Only one person went here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. How do you know it took place between 1 and 2.30? Seriously, how do you know that? And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he's the only one that walked by. He's a killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. You're an idiot. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. Yeah, reasonable enough. An engagement letter or something. Or maybe I'll just let you in. Lady her thinks she owns the place, obviously. No, she thinks she's security and she's doing actually her job. She's being a bit of a dick about it, but she's doing her job. Um, let's... Do I have anything to present this woman? No. Let's see if I present her my badge, if that helps. What's that? You giving that to me? Alright, no. It doesn't help. Okay, I guess we will move back to the detention center and see if he'll give me a letter of... a retention letter. How's the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. Where's your suspect? I probably will play the entire series despite all the horrible legalities. Because it's just way too much fun to make fun of everything that's completely broken about this. Um... Um, about the scar to the gate. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She's probably suspicious looking. She's doing actually a reasonable job as a security lady. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off the mask for her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. The letter see stumble lunch, so never let you up on it. Do you think you could write up a letter for my only requesting my representation? Actually, that's my job. I want to write up the letter. It's a retention agreement. 
power's request on the court record. Let's ask about the alibi now. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. The security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you hanging the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. If you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. Please tell your lawyers the truth. It just saves a lot of time. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. It doesn't matter how new you are. Just tell me the truth so that I know what to do. I know. I'm sorry. But I swear to you, my mom was great. I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. You're pretty distinctive, ma'am. Okay, back to the studio, I guess. This is a letter of request. Yes, yes, I recognize the bold chata straw. Power's request given to the security lady. I think he wouldn't trust his fate to use such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. The only left from here towards the studio. No going to the right, that's the employee area. Um, I'm gonna wanna look at the employee area, I'm pretty sure. No one allowed inside power were my instructions. Yeah. The good detective told me himself. Great, let me talk to the detective. And incidentally, the detective securing the crime scene is a good idea. And that's why you'd want to coordinate with the police on this if you were an attorney. Although, in the real world, there's no way you'd be there like the day it happened or day after it happened. You, By the time you get involved in everything, they, the crime scene would have long been released. There are maps in the security station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. You need to calm down. Hey, it's the same detective from earlier. We have history now. Are you the murderer from the other day? <laughs> ah, it's a confused detective. Hey, pal, you know the prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset. It's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and starting gloomily out the window. Um, so? He's depressed. It's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. You, you can't blame the detective that much. You gave him, what, like 10 hours? Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I blame all the people I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Don't take it that hard. That's always the next case. I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? We're on this case, too. You can't just go around saying pal like that. Yeah, I mean, you'd say detective. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. Uh, I guess I'll present the... No, I don't have the letter anymore, so I guess we'll talk. I'll ask about the investigation. So how's the investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. You you would... You'd, you'd be a little bit closed about it, but you, could, you would tell me some things. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with the questions, right? So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I've got? The autopsy report? The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right. Sorry about what happened last time. Cause of death. Spear. Deep. Why is Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now the victim entered Studio One at approximately one o'clock. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30, and that person was not there than both powers. 
Actually, that's a pretty good reason for arrest. No one else, pal. You think I'm lying? Ask the security lady. I don't know if I trust her, but... Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that the powers did it with that kind of evidence. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to lock things a lot more down, but, you know, as a preliminary, it's not bad. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What charmer. When I showed her my badge, she gave me a gun and some coffee. She knows what's higher, but her bread is buttered on. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Alright, well, what would... What kind of evidence? A photo. A photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there on the gate? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, the camera on that gate snaps a photo. Okay. Oh no. Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look, don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho ho. Um... We'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Probably, but, you know, it doesn't help to do a little bit of research on your own. Nick, let's go. We got a free process in place. Now's our chance to check things out. Um. Okay. One's 307. That's probably going to come in useful at some point. It was pretty short yesterday and the head broke off. Okay. Took that tree down with it too. station stuff in your face with donuts. Guess all the cops like donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Well, I mean, she should have. She should give any physical evidence she has. I'm sure the police asked for it if they're doing even a halfway key competent job and she should turn it over. She's not supposed to make your life easier. She's supposed to, like, you know, get to the truth and stuff. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo? She doesn't have to. Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. But just the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Alright. Your station is a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by the station. You went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened at 2.30. The only one I saw go through here was the powers. Yeah. 
I mean, someone could have been lying in wait, obviously, right? We don't need to point out the obvious, right? You, how are you establishing that the uh, studio was empty at 1 o'clock? Uh, that's, that's a good question. Someone could have been lying in wait. Maybe it was you. Good one, Sonny. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Yeah, that's a reasonable question. Oh yes, he was great as the bear's beard somewhere. That's who, yes. Show the brightest back in the day. You can start like pay you and that's straight disgrace. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. Until when someone walks through the gate. That's not the photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture too. Yeah. But I don't bother myself with those details. Yeah, heaven forbid. I just view all the photos on the computer over there on the security guard. Check them every day. Alright, could I examine the computer? Guess not. Um Exactly I'm looking at, but Samurai soda. Try this. Just a trash can? big drain. He could fit through there. If you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Ah. So we're, we're respecting a midget now, or a small person as a possible murderer? <laughs> but you still have to get the spear. The spear. Uh, no clues. Slide to the right. Um, back. Uh, move. Let's see about the dressing room. Cosmetics, yeah, of course, it is, you know, a studio, so the idea someone could be impersonating him or dressing up as him is not exactly outside the realm of reason. Look, employee key card. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Yeah. Borrow it, you mean borrow it. Alright, back to Studio One, I guess. Now I have an employee key card, which I'm now going to use to gain entry to this thing. 
which is in no way a bad idea. Tape, it's so real. I steal samurai, I killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai's fear. Sounds pretty real to me. <sighs> the outline where Jack Hammer's body low tape. Why is found still inside the evil that is your costume? Guess his wide head looked like a helmet. Guess the costume must absorb most of the blood. Action. Um, let's check this backpack out. Some clues, check the camera out. Tell me anything about the day of the crime. Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant and staff that day, you see. Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. Yesterday was the only rehearsal for our action sequences. just said she was in the studio all day, right? So she said she was in the studio all day, so if he's the only one who came to the studio, like, at least two people were in the studio, right? Her and this guy, so now we have a second possible person. Sorry, I know you're busy. Actual, there's been something bothering me. Aha! Well, I don't know about that, but the day just after me, I sense someone was here. He sensed? Yes, yeah, several times. The more studio employees, maybe. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. What is your opinion on law school is accredited only in the state bar, not the American bar? So, there are, um, the only place that has schools that are not accredited by the ABA, I think is California. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe California is the only one that has un unaccredited schools. Um, there are ways to become lawyers without going to law school in a couple states, um, but I don't know of any other state that has unaccredited law schools. Um, to the best of my knowledge, the unaccredited law schools don't do very well in terms of their academics or in terms of the bar. 
passage rates, and it's one of the reasons that California's bar is one of the lowest passage um, rates um, in the country because of the unaccredited school things. Uh, what extra things would someone need to do to practice in a different state if they only went to a state bar school? Basically, they can't. Um, if you're in an ABA accredited school, you can wave into other states. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, if you get to be a lawyer through means other than an ABA school, you're limited only to the state that you're admitted in. So if you read for the bar, you can read for the bar in Virginia, New York, and you could go to an unaccredited school in California. But if you do that, then you're stuck practicing in that state. I don't believe you can wave into. Uh, I'll turn down the volume of the game a little bit more. So yeah, I don't think you can wave in if you go to an unaccredited school. My recommendation would be go to an ABA accredited school. I think there are like 190 of them, so it's not that hard. Sorry, I don't have any better information than that. Helps a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security laid on the spot. There's like one state also where graduating law school automatically makes you a member of the bar. So like Minnesota or Wisconsin. So if you graduate from an ABA credit school in that state, you don't actually have to sit for the bar. I didn't go to that state, so I don't know what it is at the top of my head, but I think something like that. And if you go to an ABA, um, if you go to an ABA credit school, then the waiver rules differ from state to state in terms of what you have to do. Usually it's you have to be in practice for a certain number of years, usually like five years. And sometimes you have to take some sort of mini exam or sometimes you can just wave in. Um, or I think California doesn't recognize anyone's stuff. So I think you have to take the bar exam or a mini bar exam in California if you want to get into California. So yeah, I, I wouldn't, if you're in California, I would not go to a, a non-ABA accredited school. I would go out of state first. I, I don't think that makes any sense. See, it says one of the regular film crews in the studio. Yes, I think. Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin sounds right. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Uh, back to the gate. Still here, really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. I saw a suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? The estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure the Powers is the only one to go through here? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone else from the outside here. What? Are you absolutely sure they were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek. You know, I, I had once suggested to uh, Leonard that uh, we should just sit for a bar exam somewhere cold and see how we did. I think it would be interesting, you know, after uh, 10 years, it would be interesting just to sit for a bar exam with no study and see how well that went. Um, I, I'm, I'm pompous enough to think that I might actually pass it without studying for it again. Um, so it'd be interesting to try. The only thing that would stop me is really the, the monetary expense because there is expense in doing it. But I, it would be interesting to see how well I did on a bar exam doing it cold after 10 years of, uh, of not being in law school. That'd be interesting. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? I'm just talking to assistant in Studio One. She's not even a full-time employee. The only thing I would really have to study for would be state law issues because most state bars, although that's less an issue than it is, uh, used to be. When I graduated law school in 2007, yeah, there was no multi, there was not this uh, multi-state bar thing. I forget exactly what it's called now, but there's like this, basically this agreement between 23 states or so where if you take the bar in any of those states, the score will pass for all the states. So they have this like reciprocity agreement that didn't exist when I went to law school. So I, if I were going to take um, that, if I were going to take a bar exam cold, it would be in one of those 23 states. The idea being that by necessity, it can't have state law heavy stuff on it because if they're going to count their state stuff from state to state, it has to be more multi-state questions. Um, but if I were going to take it in a state like California, I'd have to study for the state bar material because I don't know California state law. 
And uh, California state law is, is different enough in enough areas that I would, I would need to study for that. Um, what about the LCT? What about the LCT? Uh, taking the LCT cold? I'd probably do less well in the LSAT than I would on the bar exam, to be quite honest. The LSAT exam is a lot like uh, any standardized test deals with logic puzzles and uh, word games and things like that. Uh, I'd probably have to stay for the LSAT more than I would for the bar at this point. All you young ones are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I can record and monetize the video. I doubt they'll let me bring a camera into the bar exam room, but nice idea. I could monetize me opening the bar exam score. I, I, I think that would be fun, though. If Leonard and I did it, we could open our, our scores live on camera. And, you know, we could have a, a measuring contest on who's is bigger. I think I'd do better than him. Wow. If you want this idea, by the way, you have to talk to Laird about it. This is You don't have to convince me. You have to convince Laird this is a good idea. So if you want to see Leonard and I take a bar, bar exam in one of these multi-state states cold, you have to convince him to do it, and then we have to convince him to open the scores on the stream. I think it'd be hilarious. And I think probably the thing that would happen would be like, what have I gotten myself into? I realize I'm way over my head. Yes, we should try the computer. Yeah. Legal, legal. I think legal, legal will kick my ass. I'm pretty sure legal, legal will kiss my ass. I don't know Steve Leto, though, enough. Okay, so the camera didn't turn on to one, so we don't know what happened before one o'clock. So we have no idea who was in the studio before one. So that kind of like blows the entire timeline completely to hell. Oh, you're going to make me remember this from before. You've got to be kidding me. I don't want to look at the camera. I just... It's definitely not a picture of Will Powers. I, I would love to meet Legal Legal or talk to him. He seems like a really cool guy. I hope for that matter, I'd like to work with him. He's a pretty sharp guy. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photos from the day. It's the only one on the computer. Can we use this photo as evidence for trial? Put security later in place with this. Put her in the place. Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Studying for the bar exam just took a lot of time. It was, uh, it was, it took a lot of time, but it was, it was interesting. All right, to be continued. All right, so that's an hour and a half of content. So I'm gonna save this today and I'm going to stop the stream because I'm getting a little tired in case you can't tell. Talking for an hour and a half straight, but yeah. Um, so I will just expand this and we can just talk for a minute about whatever. Um, so yeah, um, 
is he a little pompous? I don't know. I yeah, he I he, he I understand why you're talking about that. Um, but he's you know he's a really experienced guy. He does a lot of trial practice. He has a lot of experience. He obviously knows what he's doing. He's a lot more litigation experience than I do. Um, and I don't remember like hearing anything that was really deeply wrong. I remember some points where I would like quibble with him, but then again, I quibble with Leonard on points sometimes too, where it's like you go through analysis and you sort of come out on a different end of the conclusion. Um, but I don't remember him illegally saying anything that I thought was grossly wrong. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I saw the one that he did today about the contract dispute, which was pretty interesting. I had no idea the issue was a thing. So I, I don't know what circles he's running in with this, this e-gaming dispute, but it sounds right to me. It sounds like a basic, uh, breach of contract issue. And, um, yeah, from what I, from my sort of gut impression is that the gamer who is, has a three-year contract and one year in is kind of being a bit of a whiner. Uh, that's my gut impression of the thing, but we'll see what the facts actually bear out in terms of a dispute. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, and I think Legal Eagle also should start a Discord. I, t I tweeted at him he should start a Discord so we could get in on some joint streams and stuff. I think that'd be interesting. Anyways, I'm going to end the stream now um, since there are no other legal questions. And you guys know where to find me on uh, uh, Lawful Masses' Discord. So I will talk to you there. Until later, my friends. Cheers. Goodbye.